start a new Unreal project. The blank gaming template worked fine. Once inside, get your DMX and DMX fixture plugins installed. Just open sound switch and QLC plus. The op input output section, set your input to 127.0.01, your output to your local address, usually something in the 102.x.x.x range. If you're lucky, QLC will show up in your hardware section of your settings of SoundSwitch. If it doesn't, you're going to have to close and reopen both programs, perhaps several times. Your QLC settings should save between sessions, so it's just a matter of patience. Eventually, you'll see QLC pop up in SoundSwitch. This particular time it worked well opening QLC first and SoundSwitch second, but I've seen it work both ways. Not much rhyme or reason to it as far as I can tell. Now open back to your Unreal Engine project from before. In the project settings section, make sure your DMX input is set to 127.0.0.1 and that your starting universe is set to zero. That's important. From there, create a DMX library with a fixture universe matched up to the attributes of a 16 channel clay package sharpie. The main pitfall is that your pan and tilt attributes both need to be changed from 8 to 16 bit attributes. Otherwise, you can just match up your channels to online documentation. For testing, we add 8 sharpies to our Unreal DMX fixture patch. Do the same in sound switch, making sure to select the 16 channel version. I made two groups of four. Now load a song and auto script it for testing. Back in Unreal, you can check your DMX monitor to see your DMX signal coming in. In your DMX fixtures content folder under light fixtures, you'll find a BP moving head that you can drag out into your scene. Create seven copies in whatever arrangement you like. Then use the DMX patch tool to address each of your lights. Make sure the fixture patch drop down menu has all of your fixtures and not just one. If it does show just one, close the panel and re reopen it through the DMX drop down menu at the top and redock it next to your activity monitor. Click address incremental to assign patches to your lights based on the order you selected them. Now you can press play and see your sound switch data being visualized. That should give you at least a springboard to get started. If people seem interested, I'll try to make a video on using different fixtures sometime soon. Good luck.